All right, it's gonna be a quick tip on polishing a barrel bore. Uh, this process doesn't require any special equipment other than something to hold the barrel with, uh, a bore snake, and polishing compound. Uh, that would be the bare minimum that you would need uh, to do this job. Um, you'd want to use the compound of your choice, you know, for the metal that you're using, if you need something more abrasive, um, you know, or less abrasive, whatever the case may be. The process involves saturating the bore snake uh, with the compound so that when you run it through, it's actually polishing the bore with that compound and the little um, bronze bristles will go through and actually give you a really, really nice finish. Um, I've been using this, so normally I use like a, uh, you know, the JB bore polish, the bore bright, and the uh, non-embedding compound. Uh, sometimes the five micron, I've got some five micron diamond jewelers polishing compound all the way down to uh, a quarter micron. But this stuff right here seems to be really, really good. And it's cheaper than, you know, the jeweler's paste. Um, and as a finishing step, there's a couple of different things that you can do. You could wrap the, uh, the four aught, you know, the four zero steel wool around the bristles of the bore snake so that you've got a little bit of an extra contact surface and you're using a really fine steel wool uh, abrasive on the inside of the bore. What I've actually opted to do lately is use Cape Cod cloth. Now this stuff is really great uh, for softer metals, but I'm finding that it actually works for stainless and they do list stainless as being like one of the, um, uh, you know, uses for uh for this product the way that you use this um you're not actually supposed to use the cloth itself the cloth actually has an oil um saturated within so you use this to apply uh against the surface that you're going to polish uh just to get that oil onto the surface and then you would use something like in this case uh, a patch or bore mop to rub that oil across the surface of the bore and do your final polish. And man, I'm telling you, the end result is a mirror finish. It's just, it's a fantastic process. This isn't for lapping. This is just a, a finishing polish uh, process. And so the way that I've been doing it is I'll drop it into the bore, right? And I get it set up to right about there. And then you take the compound and you basically just saturate. I'm not gonna do it with this particular barrel because I'm gonna be doing a different process for this. Um, but you would saturate this, um, everything leading up to this uh, bristle area here and then you basically just pull it straight down, you know, and you do about 10 good passes, clean it off. I've been using like um, palm olive, you know, dish soap and very hot water and just, you know, squeezing the crap out of it to get all of the, the uh, material and polish out before changing grits. But I would do 10 passes with uh, something like this, clean it out, clean the bore, do another 10 passes, and I might do that, you know, five or six times, depending on um, how much work is needed for this particular barrel. And then once I'm at the point where I feel like I'm not really getting anywhere with the finish, like it's not, uh, you know, doing anything to the inside of the bore, I would then move on to something finer. And you don't have to use, you could use the same bore snake for that, but you're going to be doing a lot of cleaning and drying, and it's it's really good to have multiple, you know, bore snakes. Now, in terms of size, um, for
for a 30 caliber barrel, and this is 22, but for a 30 cal, so 0 0.300 groove diameter, uh, I'm finding that I like to go a little bit larger in the, in the you know, the size of the boar snake. So in this case, it would be like a 308, which the, um, the bronze bristles in these measure out pretty close to 0 0.308, right? So... I'd like to go a little bit larger. Now, if you're going to be using steel wool, it's probably better, like in this case, where I have uh, a 22 caliber barrel with a groove diameter of 0.217. I would use this 0 0.204 and then just wrap a bunch of steel wool around it uh, to make up that additional um, uh, internal diameter. So it's uh, a little bit of work. It's not as much work as, you know, uh, some other processes that I've used, but it's definitely worthwhile, you know, test it on a barrel that, you know, might be on its last leg or something that you don't care about very much just to get the process down, you know, so if you've got, you know, um, an old shot out barrel, that's probably a prime candidate to test this out on and get your process down. So I just thought I'd share that with you and uh, hope that helps someone out.